Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart and the Cardano chart. We can see it's going down a little bit at the moment without much surprise after yesterday's strong move up. And as you know, we are overall um, yeah, heading in the right direction at the moment with our prediction here on the channel. So we are going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart first. There you go. That's Bitcoin. I won't go through the whole structure again because I did that yesterday in a in a very long um, video explained everything and the day before so in my view just briefly i think we are in an abc correction for bitcoin which is based on the elliott wave method a corrective wave which started back here at the top in april one uh, abc moving down currently and in this c correction to the downside i personally think that we are currently in this b correction to the upside so within that wave c here um, to the downside, that could be another A, B, C, and I did explain it all in yesterday's video. That A consists of five waves again, because an A wave always consists of an impulsive five wave structure, or oh, generally, not always, but generally. So you've got here this one, two, three, four, five, and what can we see now? We can see that we are actually perfectly doing what we should be doing in that move up here. So just to show you, this here should be an a b c to the downside yeah and that wave b just for a little bit of a, a education that wave b again consists of a b c that's just that th three wave structure of a wave b and we're perfectly doing that at the moment because this wave a here which i showed you this one here so a b c yeah within that wave b to the upside it's an a b c and that wave A itself consists of five waves because a wave A is impulsive. So what you have here, and that's just when you go smaller and smaller, but just really to show you what, we, what we're doing because we're going up and down, up and down. So we're perfectly doing what we should be doing. In a wave A, you've got an impulsive move. So I expect five waves here. So you've got a wave one, two, three. That could be the four. I think we're coming down to a little bit too low at the moment, but it might be okay four and five are we coming down too far i think that might just be okay because in the wave four you're not allowed to come back into the price range of wave one um might be a bit complicated to understand here but i really just want to show you on a on a smaller scale what we're doing no this could be perfect so you've got as i said in this wave a here to the upside which is part of the larger wave b you have a wave one you have a wave two, you have a wave three, and possibly this is the wave four. To have the wave four, we could only come down a little bit lower, maybe just to 50K, 49.9. Actually, 49.8 eight would still be valid. If you come down lower, then this is not a wave four anymore. Then the wave count needs to be looked again. Um, at least this one, two, three, four, five count look, needs to be looked again. That could then indicate that we haven't seen the wave four yet, and the wave three still needs to be completed. But this is what we're doing at the moment, right? We're moving up, down, up, down perfectly in the range of the expectation because this has to be a five-way structure here on a smaller time frame before we then be aware of that. So let's just say this was the four. Then we can expect here that we are going to see the wave five, possibly around 55K even. Yeah, maybe a bit lower. So from that 55K, then we could drop in a wave B And again, we can use the FIP levels for that. If we use that just roughly now, right? Just roughly. If we say we come, maybe we come to 55K in that wave, um, then a perfect retracement level would be the 50K again if we come down in a wave B, after which we can then move into the final target range here, the yellow box. Yeah. Um, as I said, between 55.5 and yeah, 63.5K. From here on, then I would expect the move down below 30k. And again, I did explain it all in yesterday's video. Just really wanted to show you what we're doing now. So we're currently building a five-way structure to the upside, but on a smaller time frame, in my view, totally um, expected. That is what we are doing here in these A corrections to the upside. Don't be confused. <laughs> um, I did say we come down in a larger with A here correct this higher in a wave B and then come down in a wave C. 
Yeah. And again, this wave B to the upside consists of an ABC itself. And this ABC itself consists of the wave A, which is one, two, three, four, five, the wave B, which will be ABC, and the wave C, which will be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's as simple as that, or maybe as complicated as that, however you want to understand it. And um, this is playing out now. This is playing out. Um, yesterday, I wasn't quite sure do we actually go into this target area first before we drop down? I think we're doing that. I think we're doing that at the moment because we're coming up too far and we can see this one, two, three, four at the moment. Let's see how this develops over the course of the trading day. Um, but this is, I think, where we're heading now. And this would be, depending on what you want, I mean, if we come up here and then sell off, at least you have the possibility to exit some positions in this area here if you want to, before we come back down much lower, in my view and then we can buy much cheaper. I've got various buy orders that you can find on Discord, sort of in this range or in the, in the quite low ranges, assuming that we will come to into this area. Um, but again, this is not guaranteed. This is just what I think, right? I think it's very likely. More and more people start to talk about this. Um, but please um, do your own research. Don't blame me if it doesn't work out in the end. That's only what I can see on the chart. and. There are some on-chain indicators for Bitcoin which speak another language, right? They, they, they indicate that we should see higher prices soon. But it is, it's all about, you know, which methodology will win in the end. And the Elliott Waves have been fairly accurate also for Cardano so far and for other cryptos like Ethereum. So we are going to see it. It will be very interesting. It will be very interesting. And also need, you need to understand nothing works 100% of the time. Okay, so there you go. A Cardano as well, um, following Bitcoin at the moment in this structure here, um, up, down, up, down. This is not a one, two, three, four. This would could be a one, two, one, two, maybe. Um, basically, because here in this move down, we've come down too far. This looks a bit different to Bitcoin. My explanation for that is that we are sort of bound by this descending trend line here, which is coming down. Still haven't managed to break out above that. That descending trend line, if we were to break out today, you would want a breakout point here at around 145. So if you can see us breaking out, no, sorry, it's a bit lower, it's a bit lower. Um, it's this one here. So it's around 144. If we break above 144, you could argue that we are going to break here higher. But then again, what we have then, then we've got that 0.786 FIB level at 147. So we need to break both levels to climb up the FIB ladder. And then from there, we can move towards 181, which is the next key Fibonacci level at 181. There's one key support level or resistance level along the way, which is that 175 level, which is that previous high here and the previous high here. And we had support back here and here. So this is what currently Cardano is doing. Um, can have a quick look at the ADA BTC chart. Overall, nothing too exciting currently on the ADA chart. I think Bitcoin is much more relevant, which at the moment, which is why I spent a bit more time here on um, on it. But there you go, still following on ADA BTC in this channel that I showed you. So also highly relevant that channel at the moment, um, but it's a descending channel. Possibly could even move it a little bit higher here with a bit of uh, the wick sticking out to the downside. That might be more accurate depending on which time frame you're looking at, but it doesn't really matter. This is currently descending, waiting here for a breakout to the upside. That's what I still wait for. It takes much longer than expected. We've got a 20 day moving average coming down here in teal. And we can see on the RSI that we still have, we've been having that for a while now, this ascending, um, no, so this, this um, bullish divergence here on the RSI. You can see that on the four hour chart but we also have something very similar here on the daily chart while we're making lower lows. Yeah, you clearly make lower lows. You make higher lows on the RSI because we were so much oversold for Cardano. So at the moment, this is recovering a little bit and we've got this bullish divergence, which hopefully will result in a breakout to the upside. That's what I would like to see um, as we now have come down quite a bit. Key support level down here. Just thinking, is this really one or is it one that I just moved accidentally. I don't think that's a relevant support. Key support, key support where we are currently. That is basically this previous low here at where are we here with this support? This is 27, 
Yeah, three zero pretty much. Um, so I think it looks a bit like, as you can see, that we're currently finding support there. We did find support there yesterday here along the way. So that's a key support level where we're sitting at the moment. And we need to see if we are going to hold that. So it's a bit of a zone anyway. Can't just say this is one price point. It's normally always a zone. So the question is, you know, do we hold that? In my view, it, it's look, it doesn't look too strong enough to hold it at the moment. We are very clear here in this channel. I mean, if you look at that channel, you could also see it as a descending wedge, potentially, which is not, however, converging very strongly. At some point, as I said, I would expect a breakout here to the upside, basically, because um, the downtrend has slowed down from ADA BTC and we've got this bullish divergence here. And because ADA has proven that it could outperform Bitcoin before, unexpectedly, very fast, you can get these turnarounds here. So I'm just waiting for that. That's pretty much the update today. Don't want to make it too long. Hope you liked the update about ADA and BTC. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.